what's that what noise? Look what I found. All these snacks were like just in a in a bin over there. Not the bin. Oh, the container. I had it in the container. Yeah, I call it a bin. So I was almost going to open this the other night. Oh no, that would have been awful. This is a Thai spicy mixed flavor, best deluxe mixed nuts from nature. That's quite a mouthful. <laughs> so what's all this for? Well, this is to show the audience on YouTube how you can get these world food snacks at the supermarket. Oh, right. So we've got cheese and garlic bread crisps, sweet plantain chips, shrimp flavored crackers, and teriyaki chips or crisps. So some of them seem healthier than others. So yes, I do think so. I. I bought them from Sainsbury's, although I'm pretty sure you can also get them from the other supermarkets as well. So shall we start off with the plantain chips maybe? And so we say where each one comes from. It's made by Grace and it's sweet plantain chips. In tropical countries where plantains are cultivated, they find many diverse uses. While the ripe plantain is eaten fresh as a fruit, it may also be fried to form chips, which is this. Their natural sweetness makes them a popular snack throughout the Caribbean. So, and where are they from? So I Colombia. think this is from the... It says Colombia. A Caribbean or it's from Jamaica. So, no, it says Colombia. Oh, That's okay, in, in South America. Columbia, Why don't you open that? Now, I might not be able to eat this one because... If it's like um, dried banana, I always think a plantain and a banana look, well they are quite similar looking. And it looks like a banana, look, on the outside. It looks like a banana. Oh my, that looks like a banana. Look. I don't think it's that hard. Okay. Well, it's not that hard. Mm. So would mm. you consider buying this? Mm, possibly. So They're a little bit Slight, maybe slightly bland. Okay, so the first impressions is is that it seems kind of um dry-ish. Mm. Um, there isn't an abundance of flavor, which is good and bad. No, I don't think I could eat a whole bag of these though. Just a few. Let's move on to the next one. These are bun chomps. I think this is from South Africa because when I looked online. It says South Africa on the website. All right, from the Bon family. Well, let's see what it says. Is there anything in English on this? I don't know. It's all foreign. <laughs> I don't see anything. There's nothing in English on it at all. Oh, well, we'll just have to open it uh, and see what it's like. You do see that it's... I don't know where it's from no. either. Product of... Oh, here. Oh, right, right at the bottom, <laughs> the English one. Okay, so it's bread crisps with cheese and garlic seasoning mix. And I'm just trying to see, you think it's South Africa? When I looked online, that is what it said. I can't see where it's from. Dot LT. Is that Latvia? Lithuania, I don't know. Oh, well, let's open it anyway. Maybe we'll find out later. If anyone knows where one chance is from, let us know. Can't even open it. Gosh, that's tough. Does it smell nice? I don't know. Oh, it smells a sort of bland again. A cheesy bread. Oh god, it's greasy too. Is it? Yeah. Oh, this is really fried. Oh jeez. No wonder it was greasy. Oh my god. Mmm. Do you know what this tastes like? Croutons. Mm. So maybe this we could, could go into a as soup. Or a salad. Mm. This could go into one of my cup of soups. Mm. Just to add a little bit of va va to wow. it. Wow. But it does say dot LT, so if anyone knows where that is from. This does taste do rather tasty. Now. Yeah. Um, it's a bit greasy though, but I think mm. yes, it would be better. Oh look, it actually says. 
salad, soup and drinks. So that's what you could put it into. So you get your nuts out next. Oh, no? Oh, you want to save your nuts for last, don't No, we, we could do it um, yeah. later. Why don't you open it now? And oh, make sure the viewers can hear you opening the tin. Is it, is it going to be like a pop? No. I... It's got one of these handles. Do you need a spoon for it? Give me a spoonie. I don't think I've ever had these nuts before. Ooh. Okay. There's not that much in it. Should we pour some out or no, just... So there's Paul's nuts. This Let's is see. what it looks like. What they smell like. There is like Ooh. a, there is like a chili in here. I like oh. the little guy yeah. on it, look. Is that, is he Japanese? Look, is this he, is like a... Is, is it Japanese? Thai. Oh, Thai, sorry. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> he looks, it looks like he's like a karate guy or something. Mm. So it's Thai spicy mixed flavor. And we know where it's from. So, oh, what's this? What's Shall this? We? Let's put Look. it to the side. Are you supposed to eat that? I might eat it later. Really? Oh, oh, there's another one in there. Okay. So I've got a few out and it's all seems to be the same type as come out. It's cashews. Oh, is there like lime or something on this? I think I am going to eat this chili to Oh really? Like. Okay. Good luck. Well, it's dry, so it's not mm. too spicy. No, oh, wow. There oh, is a bit of a kick. Oh no. Oh my god. Well, well, you're recovering from that. Oh, there's a peanut in there. And there's peas. Are those dried peas? Mmm. And what are these leaves? Mmm. Should I eat this other one? Well, you, I thought you struggled with the first one. That's okay. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I love this. This is like that almost like it's like a Bombay mix, except it's Thai. So, so what mm. are so what are so what are our first impressions? Oh, I like this. I can eat the whole thing. It's spicy. But I've got two more to go. I'm gonna have to resist. I want these like, really crunchy on. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, put these back in. Mmm! Oh wow. I know I'll be snacking them. I need some milk. Oh my god. Oh. Well, before we get some milk, we've got the shrimp flavored crackers next. And these are from Korea. Uh huh. From Seoul. And it's from a company called Nong Shim. And it is any more description of this hot and spicy? Oh well, you might oh, you might need to bring the milk over here. And a picture of a shrimp on it. I'm gonna open this. What is wrong with these bags? I... Oh my god! I can't open it. Try it this way, man. Oh my god! It's oh. burning me. Is this spicy too? Yeah. Oh. Let me try some of these first. Oh, crooked. oh, it says low battery. Oh no, what are you doing, Paul? I keep it going. Are we still on? Yeah. Right, okay. No, wait, do that bit again. Mm. Oh, it's very shrimpy. Mm. It's, too, it's too much for me. No. It's too strong. It's like a prawn cracker, but on overkill. They got steroids. Yeah, because you know the prawn crackers are usually quite subtle, but that's quite strong. I wouldn't even say it's spicy. No. It's just very prawny. And, ooh, this is called um, Koi Kia, original <laughs> premium Japanese potato chips. And it says, Koi Kia, producer of premium Japanese potato chips since 1953. Koi Kia! takes pride in being the pioneer in delivering refined Japanese flavors to potato chips. And it's from Japan. Yeah. Through the years, Koikea has built a vast group of loyal customers in Japan. Now we wish to spread our authentic Japanese flavors across the world. See? We sincerely hope you will enjoy Potechi, 
with its refined and sophisticated flavours representing Japanese cuisine and tradition. And it says pachechi is a commonly used word for potato chips in Japan. This flavour's feature is teriyaki. Well, that's one of my favourites. <laughs> and it's one of Japan's national sauces. It combines a pleasant smoky touch with a harmony of sweetness and saltiness. Enjoy the authentic flavours of Japan. Enjoy Koikea. I would almost think that I was doing an ad for it. Oh, okay. Why don't you try this, Paul? They just like potato chips, crisps. Mmm. Mm. That's a lot. I think it might, it might take some getting used to. But I think you could get used to these. We don't, we don't normally see teriyaki um, flavored crisps. No. So were all these bought in the world food aisle? Um, in one of two aisles at Sainsbury. The wor world, the world food aisles then? Well, there was one that had um, Chinese type stuff and then the other one had also like a Caribbean. And, yeah, um, but what I'm saying is that none of them were actually bought in just the regular crisp or snacks on. No. So that's where you need to go. And a top tip for you is that for looking at, if you're looking for like regular groceries, like baked beans, for example. Rice. Chocolate bars, all that sort of stuff. If you go to the world food aisle or aisles, if they have them at your supermarket, you might find that the items are cheaper there. It might be a different make, one that you're not used to, a brand that you don't know. But quite often you will find that they are cheaper. Now, I think we need something to wash all this down with, don't you? Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. So please subscribe. Push down the center to release opener. Place opener on top of the bottle and press down firmly with your palm for five seconds to dislodge the stopper. Is this alcohol? No. Does it say to press on it? It's impossible. This isn't that other thing, is it? Oh! Does that pierce it? Where'd it go? It went inside. Okay, fine. So let's have to say what we did. Oh, we're running. So you saw that. That's <laughs> weird. This is really, really weird. This bottle is almost impossible to open. Oh dear. So you had to take off this like green bit, separate it, and then plop it down in the middle, and then it just fell into the bottle. Oh dear. Is this something to do with the carbonation, do you think? Yeah. So what is this? Did I give it even amount? Yeah, that's good enough. What is it before we start? So this is... Oh, look, look at this, it's in here now. Uh, fun marble drink. It is a, a carbonated soft drink and it's yuzu citrus flavor. It wasn't much fun trying to open it. A fun marble drink. So this is a marble that's in here, look. God. There's a marble inside the bottle. Okay. So this must be some sort of like Japanese... Yeah. Well, fun okay. drink. Cheers. What did you say it was? Citrus flavor. Mm. Okay. Oh. That's all right. That's quite nice. It's refreshing. But the bottle is bizarre. It is. Because I thought, is it like alcohol or something? Gosh, the way I'm talking, you think it was. Because <laughs> remember, you tried to open that bottle of. But brandy. Brandy. Yeah. 
And that was almost impossible. We were like having to use knives and everything to try to get into that. But this, because <laughs> it actually said, it says, peel off seal, which we did, and lift off the green cap. So these things, and then this Yeah, but this bit out. was inside it. That's what, and then it said, push down the center to release opener. Place opener on top of the bottle and press down firmly with your palm for five seconds to dislodge the stopper. Remove green opener from bottle. Discard after use. I mean, I don't think I would buy this again. <laughs> this really was, because now you know how it's done. But it's actually, I thought, as it popped into my eye or something, it's, it's weird. <laughs> but the drink's nice. I don't think I've ever had yuzu flavor before, so it's... Yuzu, what's that? It's kind of like a citrus type of fruit, I guess, from Japan. Japan. Oh, right. And how's that spelled? Yuzu. Uh, Y-U-Z-U. Oh. I don't know. All right, so I have finished my drink. Okay, well, let's move on to the next one. So we go on to the Mugu Mugu, this pinky. So this is oh, from bits in there. Thailand. Yep, there's some bits in it. Bits of what? Lychee. Uh, lychee Ooh. flavor drink. So yeah, I guess this is lychee. I was only, I didn't, re I didn't realize there was lychee in it. <sighs> I only guessed that there might. I don't want the bits though. Can you pour it out without getting bits in it? No. Oh no. Maybe just straw. Have, why don't you just have a little bit? Why don't I use a straw to avoid the bits? It's the same as with marmalade. I don't like the bits in marmalade. I call them worms. <laughs> Do you want to have that one? Okay. So it's a pinky drink. And what is it? Lychee flavored drink. And this is from Thailand. It says, gotta chew on it. Gotta chew. Right, okay. okay. Bottoms up. Mm hmm. Ooh. <laughs> I can't sort of do it without the bits. They're all stuck in my straw. Very sweet, isn't it? It is. It's so sweet. Oh. I think that the. I think... Are you just supposed to eat the lychee? Yeah, those are like it. A gelatin bits, I guess, right? Well, I like it. You like it? Alright, then I will finish no. the rest of this. Why don't I finish this then? These two remaining bottles. Now, I think we've had one of these before. Have we? Not necessarily the two flavours. Um, so it's Tim Bark. Don't reveal the other flavour, yeah? This is watermelon. Apple watermelon still drink, and this is from where? Poland. Oh, you don't have to whisper. Poland. Right. Okay, and it's got this very cute little sort of opener, which on is it. helpful. Let's see. Jeez. I can't do it. Leave it. I can't. Fine. Can you open it, Paul? Do we need to get like a bottle opener? Do you right. think? Why do I think this guy? Like no, don't. Till I get a bottle opener. Where's our bottle opener gone, Paul? Where's our bottle opener gone? I oh, feel, here's one. I feel like I am gonna spill it all over. We've shown you this before. Okay. That's not gonna open. Pull out then up. A bottle opener doesn't open. Oh, what is up with these foreign drinks? We can't open them. Make your bottles easier to open. Well, well, oh. Paul's grab oh. oh, he's got it right. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Mmm. Okay, let's pour this out. There, so one, and some more for Paul. So this is Tim Bark. I probably Tim said it Bark. wrong. Cheers. Cheers, bottoms up. You sure there's no alcohol in any of these? No. Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. 
It's nice. First impressions? No, I like it. It's cooling. Mmm. Yeah. Watermelon. Mm. Apple, apple watermelon, actually, it says. No, it's nice. It is nice. Oh. Oh. So nice that I downed it all in one. Very good. I think that I liked this one as well. No, I think we should go on to the last one. And this is Tim Bark as well. And what flavour is this one, Paul? Apple kiwi. Kiwi, did you say? So then I think this one had apple kiwi and then this one had apple watermelon. So should I try to open this one now? Kiwi, get it? Yeah. No. You know what the kiwi likes to do? Poke Ow. Paul's ear. Watch it. Okay. Now let's try this one. Oh, so I'll just pour me. Ooh, very green. <laughs> there we go. Equal amounts. I don't think that there's that much sugar in any of this stuff, hopefully. Have they added sugar to them? I don't know. Okay, let's try it. Cheers. This. Cheers. A kiwi apple. Mm. Mm. It's all right. I think I prefer the other one, you know. I think that I like this one more. Oh, oh I don't know. It all tastes pretty good to me. Mm. Now, what was your favorite out of these? Uh, this one wasn't because the flavor was very um, subtle and the... And, uh, a oh. bottle was really hard to open. Well, I quite like that one. It, it was, Did you? Yeah, it was, it was fizzy, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, yeah. And the apple watermelon, I quite liked it too. My least favourite was the lychee. And this one's somewhere in between, I think. I sort of like this in a weird way. I don't know, like, I kind of did like the chewy bits for some reason. Mm. I don't know. Not me. But I do like um, the, um, what do you call them, the Chinese ones, the bubble tea. Yeah. Yeah, but the bubbles that stuff in it. What is that stuff that they put in? Tapioca. Tapioca. But the lychee I didn't like, and it was a bit too sort of, not chewy as such, but I don't know. Plasticky, not plastic, rubbery. That's it, rubbery. So what did you think of the whole day of trying the snacks and the uh, drink. Well, the good thing that I liked most of it is that all the snacks are now open, especially those <laughs> nuts. So when I might want to have my late, munchies. late night munchies, I will be able to indulge in some of those. So thanks for this little tour around the world in snacks today, Paul. Oh, it is quite all right. And don't forget to like this episode if you did like what we had to offer and for those of you that haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button because we do like that as well and keep your comments coming and we'll see you next time uh, bye bye bye, bye.